Hey guys, so, well it is nice out today. Believe it or not, it's actually warm. It got up to 75 degrees. Believe it or not, I'm actually wearing short sleeve. First time wearing short sleeve this early. So, this will be the update video for the month of January. Now we're in 2019. That's what the backyard looks like. Yep, yeah, definitely been throwing a lot of old food scraps into the compost pile. Still got all this stuff, need to shred them. I actually love how nice a lot of these fine shredded leaves have all decomposed. Well, they decompose really good. That's one of the best things that you can do to your yard. It's just mulch them into the yard because they because they are loaded with so much nutrients and it's just about to get dark Weather's actually been pretty good lately to where the point finally got to the point to where I finally had the opportunity to wash my truck. Probably probably the first time I washed it in about three months. Yeah. Here's the front yard. Believe it or not, I actually had to uh, cut the grass out here in the front today. Because some of this winter ryegrass, especially right here, I wish I would have showed y'all what it looked like before. Because it, it was actually a, a little bit overgrown in some areas. And of course all this brown, it's, this is pretty much all the, the St. Augustine grass that's all dormanted. We got some winter weeds though that are just keep popping in but that's all right whenever we do start getting warm weather all these winter weeds will die off in which that means this winter rye will go dormant in the spring this monkey grass is doing really well I like to try to keep it all keep it growing a bit more I do want to this little low spot that kind of kind of dips down a little bit because this is where we had that maple tree at at one at one point we had it taken out let's see just almost a year ago actually it would be a year ago in about the next two months let's see if I can get y'all yeah it kind of does dip down a little bit I think what I might do at some point is maybe get maybe one or two maybe three bags of compost and just fill this all in Hopefully if we can try to level it out a little bit. It's hard to try and level this out just because of the sandy soil that we have. It's really hard to just have it all leveled out.
yeah I can get over how nice and clean this truck is I haven't seen it this clean in a long time definitely been a good truck I'm just about to push 22,000 on it my mother's car I do need to wash it it now has 43,000 miles on it just because of with my parents doing a lot of long distance driving kind of been going back and forth to Atlanta Georgia yeah driving this thing all the way to Atlanta because that's where my brother lives now because they actually drove out there on Thanksgiving and here's the remains still we got the remains of the uh, maple tree out that was out front there that's the stump Here's the other maple tree here in the backyard. It's in much better shape than the one out front. And here's all the lawn equipments. It's going to be hard to see all the ones in the very back. Actually, let me get my phone and I'll turn the light on the phone. Alright guys, I don't know if y'all can really see it very well, but... Yeah, you can't really quite see all the stuff in the very back. Yep, all the lawn equipments are basically are all in hi hibernation except for the three that I was using today, which were both of the steel equipments, the FS91R and the BG86, and the Lawn Boy 8461. Those were the ones that I used today on the in the front yard. I could have used the 10323, but there's no gas in it. I I don't feel like putting any gas in it right now or just today until whenever I get everything out and get them running which that won't be till next month just depending on the weather usually like early to mid February I usually like to get everything out and running right after the Super Bowl So yeah, I'm gonna try to pull the key out of my lock. There we go. All right, so that's it. And a look at the backyard. We got quite a bit of the winter rye in it, and doesn't quite grow very well out here in the back. And of course, we had a. A problem right here with the St. Augustine dying off which it was due to chinch bugs I'm hoping if that if it will actually recover this year hopefully if the St. Augustine will start spreading through all of this I think at some point I think at some point we ought to just have this whole backyard to be resodded I don't know what type of St. Augustine grass that we have here in the backyard. I know in the front yard we have Riley St. Augustine. I would assume that this is also Riley St. Augustine. I would rather have Palmetto St. Augustine. But it just is what it is. Yeah, I've got a lot of these 
weeds. These are just these winter weeds. I'm not really too worried about them. So next month I'll spread out some pre-emergent just to prevent any of the, the summer weeds. Alright, so this is it for the update video. Actually, the, my camera is just fixing to die because the battery's getting very low. Alright, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. And so, thanks for watching.